Hi guys, this is a Javanet Bean multiplication timetable developed earlier. So let me show you guys how it works. Enter a value there, just click on timetable, reset, enter another value, the same thing. Okay, so here I have a list box, text box, and buttons, and up here they are all labels. So what I would do now is to take you guys straight into Javanet Bean. I would put one of these together. So let's do that now. Hi, this is a Java tutorial of a multiplication timetable. I'm going to start by clicking on that start menu there and select Java. Okay, and click on next. But if you prefer next time, you can always go to file new. All right, let me give it a name. I'm just going to call it list. Multiplication. I'm calling it list multiplication because this is going to be developed using list box. So I would then on select this create menu there. So let's just put multi right there. That's fine. Okay, let's click on next or click on finish. Right. Our list list box must, uh, multiplication program is ready now. All the area is ready. Let's select next. We we'll select new. Right click on it. Select new. Go to J frame and right there. Let's give that a name as well. So we're just gonna call it J list box multiplication timetable. This one be J list box J list multiplication timetable uh, multiplications with an S. And click on finish now the form is ready right click on the form let's select set layout and select absolute layout that will give us an independent to work freely on the system okay let's go to the palette here now we need a list box that's my list box there there right there okay the next thing is we need a button there that's a button I think we might need two of those one for reset and maybe one for exit okay we'll make it three all right the next thing we need is we need a text field right there and maybe one label that says enter your number to multiply okay now I'm gonna select it all let's come to the property and see you see the font right there let's change the font size I'm going to make that bold. Let's go for maybe 24. That might be too big. 18 is fine. I make this 18 as well. Bold 18. And right here, I will then delete all of the content inside the list box. Let's come to model right here. Click on this. Get rid of that. There. All gone. Click on OK. Now let's give this a name come in here just enter jtxt time table there that's that sorted now here this button will be known as jlbl jbnt table okay now let's change the property let's change that to times table right now the next one let's change this one to jbn okay first of all let's just change that to reset and that will become jbtn reset followed by jbtn exit and change the text on it to exit and this will become and we change the variable of this to J L S T or oh, let me let's make the L okay uppercase L S T let's go for just times that's fine alright okay I will then delete the content inside this text box let's come to the property there get rid of that and resize it that's fine here yeah. And just enter multiplication timetable there. Multiplication times. 
table maybe increase the size a little bit more that's good enough okay let's double click on this button right here we can always just extend it that much to make it look the same and this one as well all right so that's fine okay let's double click on the timetable button itself and then scroll right up there and enter the following importations right there okay, right underneath the package okay now let's go back to the button double click on the button again now come in here and right above there enter the following maybe we should let's say default default list model equals number and the number equals let's say new default model this very one copy it paste it there enter parentheses and there and now right inside the the button itself we're going to enter the following lines of code int let's call that i num equals integer dot post post int and what we're entering in there will be jtxt times table dot get text there and enter a semicolon there the next thing is i'm going to use a for loop for int i equals one enter a semicolon i is less than and equals to 12 semicolon i plus plus all right now we have our loop in place now let's say number dot add element this very one okay what element are we adding is going to be as follows that will be i speak plus let's enter plus before the speech mark speech mark times another speech mark there plus then we have another speech mark we need the, the variable i plus another speech mark which is going to be equals then we have a plus here okay i times i num plus let's enter carriage return and there uh, that is that now we're ending the list box itself list box times dot sets mode right here and what we're setting in there that will be the number this very one copy it paste it right in there there done okay so that's the multiplication timetable taken care of now i'm going to copy this let's use that to take care of the reset right click and select action and paste that in there get rid of the of this and enter an s there and enter none there that means no value now let's call the number number dot clear parenthesis right there and who are we clearing with the number it's going to be this okay i'm just going to copy all of that and paste it right in there so that is the clear taken care of the next one let's take care of exits okay right click and select events action event there with the exit we enter the following lines of codes okay that would prompt the user to confirm if they want to exit the system or not now if I run the program, let me show you guys what, what will happen. Run 
okay enter a number in there there that's the multiplication timetable working fine no problem but supposing end user enter just anyhow text okay so that what we want to do is to make sure the system will not receive or allow an intake of alphabet so let's reset and exit okay now let's go back in here click on the text and go to event key press key type and enter the following lines of codes right in here enter as follows there so with these lines of code that will prevent the user from entering values that are not numbers okay with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this program but just before i leave let me run the program for you run it enter any half value in there you see that and that is the bell right here not allowing the user from entering any other value notifying you that you pressing the wrong key and here you can enter seven there and that's how you develop multiplication timetable in java using list box text box and buttons bye for now